Elaria takes a stroll with Doran in the water gardens, with Ario Hoda and her daughter Tyeen following. As she aids her prince to his seat, they discuss how her paramour Oberon would have been a terrible ruler, and Doran a terrible adventurer. After Doran tells Tyene what a brilliant woman her mother is, flattering Elaria, Maester Calliot arrives with a message informing him that Marcella was poisoned. As Doran immediately realizes what happened, Tyene stabs and kills Ario, allowing Elaria to stab Doran in the chest with a concealed knife hidden in her bracelet. Before Doran can strangle her, Elaria pulls him out of his chair onto the floor while Tyene dispatches Ario and Calliot. Dissatisfied with Doran's decisions, the other guards simply stand and watch. Elaria reprimands the prince for allowing the Lannisters to get away with the deaths of his siblings. Slowly bleeding to death, Doran begs for his son's life. Elaria refuses, as Tristane Martell's death is also a part of her coup, already having sent Obara and Nymeria to ambush and kill him. She also comments about how he and his son are weak, and that weak men will never rule Dornay ever again. Jaime Lannister later receives word in King's Landing that Elaria and the Sand Snakes have taken over Dornay and will likely soon declare war on the Lannisters. Following the destruction of the Great Sept of Baelor, Elaria and the Sand Snakes extend an invitation for Olena Tyrell to meet them at the Water Gardens. Upon their meeting, Lady Olena reminds the Sands of the fate of Lionel Tyrell when he came to Dornay, prompting Elaria to assure her that she has nothing to fear from them even though they practically murdered their own family to seize power in Dornay. Elaria insists that they must work together now for survival, as Queen Cersei has declared war on both of them. Olena objects, saying that survival is not what she is after due to the loss of her son and grandchildren. Elaria offers Olena her heart's desire, which she identifies as justice and vengeance. She then summons Varys, who further clarifies that he and Elaria are offering fire and blood signifying that Elaria has declared for Daenerys Targaryen after hearing of her recent alliance with Theon Greyjoy and Yara Greyjoy. When Daenerys's assembled armada sails for Westeros some time later, ships of Dornay are seen among them, supplied by Elaria.